cookies. And we have so many more to pick outside. So I'm going to go ahead and blanch these and freeze them so we have some for the winter when we're not sick of snap peas because in a few weeks the kids will be eating so many snap peas that I know eventually they'll be like, oh, I can't eat anymore. <laughs> but grateful for the harvest. So here we go. So I'm going to rinse them off. Drain them out. Get a pot ready. A big pot. I'm going to fill it with water. I don't want to go too filled because when I dump the peas up, I have to remember that it's going to make the water rise a little bit. put them in for a minute and 30 seconds and then I'm going to strain them and then I'm going to put them into a cold water bath. Okay? So you ready to do it? Let's You're do it. Hot water and then cold water. Yep. Put it in boiling water, strain it, and then I'm putting it into cold water. So while that's boiling right now, I'm going to just get my cold water ready. And because our freezers are jammed with ice right now, we have to defrost them. I don't have any ice, I didn't realize. So I'm going to use what we use as ice. They're like teethers for, for babies, but we also put them on boobies. So I'm going to use that. cold water stops them from cooking. Cold water will stop all this from So they've sat in the cold water bath. I'm gonna take out our teethers. Um, this the other one. Great, so they worked and they kept the, the um, the peas cold, so I'm going to strain them, strain them out. So we will freeze those for about an hour and then we'll pack them away in a Ziploc bag for the winter.
RPs for the winter. Thanks, Joey.